Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the very dark and stormy looking Kettle Bridge with me, Biffa. And today we're going to spread out and start a brand new city. I have found a little island that's just been placed in the perfect spot, far away from Biffington Springs and Tealand Downs and all these other places that we've built up. And I think we're just going to build a nice little home there. So if we zoom all the way out, man, these clouds are looking a little bit dangerous, aren't they? We're going to swing all the way around here to this little spot, which I think could be the perfect place to try out a few cool new things. It's got a lovely view of our skyline that we set up last time, the Golden Gate Bridge. But other than that, it's just views as far as the eye can see. Who, who wouldn't want to live here? Who wouldn't want to live here? So we're going to see how beautiful we can make this little spot here. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is unlock these squares. We've got 113 map tile passes that we can use. And I think we're going to end up using six for this one here it should be okay so we'll grab those we have more spare if we need to and then we're going to see how we can get this connected up to the rest of our whole i mean we can sort of start calling this a region now can't we because we've got our main city spots here some other places that can still be built up but we've still got plenty of space where we can still build some other big let's have a look here big cities that could still be connected to the main one so yeah this map this map is very very big right okay so let's have a look at our little island whoa thank you very much let's have a look at our little island <laughs> and see what we can do to improve this now we're going to do a little bit of terraforming first of all we're not going to flatten the whole island out um but i just look at this little piece that runs through the middle here and think that that just should be a little river running through there and we do have a mod that can help us with that and that is the water features mod by yang yang uh, which you can go and check out on the thunderstorm and it adds here for us for us a stream a river a lake and a sea a border sea water source so i think when you select one of these and zoom out yeah look you get to see all the water sources that are on your map so we've got to be really super careful that we don't mess with any of these so i've made a save before i accidentally mess anything up but we're going to be using the stream and if we place a stream water source so it's got to be high enough that it's going to run everywhere i'm just going to literally where should we go there seems quite a high spot We'll speed the game up a little bit. And I'm hoping that that is going to run out on each direction. Yeah, there we go. Give us a nice little river effect running through here. Let's just see how it does come in this way. I mean, it looks like it could be heading this way, <laughs> but it's going rather slow. I'm going to add another one in up the top here. I'm pretty sure that these will interact well together, which is good. Oh, there we go. That's more like it overflowing nicely heading down in this direction here we've got a bit of a i mean i haven't smoothed this out i'm hoping we're going to get some nice deep waterfalls and that sort of thing i think we're okay i've added a third in i'll go through and remove any trees that are in the way but that seems to be running through there very nicely and it does fit in with the terrain doesn't it like it's been worn away over many years I did want this to be a little bit bigger at the end, so I think we might just add one more there. I mean, we could always remove it again afterwards, if needed. That's running a little bit faster, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think that's looking good. I think that's looking good. We might just, just drop down the height of this terrain here as well. So I'm going to make the brush nice and small. I'm going to take that height there and just ever so carefully just sort of tap that through there. There we go. I think that'll be okay to be honest that's looking good that side let's get rid of that tree that's right in the middle there i like the rocks we're going to add some rocks as well as well really make this look nice no other trees in the water got some trees hmm yeah i don't want that tree there and we're sort of getting a waterfall effect not perfect but that's not too bad okay let us go with that so to help us to beautify this little bit of area here we're going to use the fine stuff mod and we've gone into the props and i've typed rock and then over here we've selected miscellaneous props and there is a whole load of rocks that can be added so i think what we're going to do is we're going to find a little spot of lands 
Is there one over here that's a little bit nearer that's already unlocked? And this will do here. And I'm going to place out every rock that we've got so we can see what they all look like. I'll just do that off camera, of course. Oh, we found a nice load of stuff that we can use from a very small stones. There's like 29 of those of various sorts to some nice big boulders to these. What were these called? Concrete piles or something like that. Oh, I can't automatically select them and get them found in here. Okay, I think there were concrete piles. Then we've got some wood piles. And I think between all of these, I can definitely decorate our little island. <laughs> Where is it gone? <laughs> I've lost it. Oh, here it is over here. I can definitely decorate this to make it look really, really nice. So let's see what I can do with some of these stones at the end. This is what it looks like before. There we go. To after looking a little bit like this, I'm sort of working on layering it up a bit but i'm liking how it's sort of heading out so once you've got a few rocks placed down here we can do control left click just to pick whichever ones you want to use next and then right mouse button just to sort of turn those around and get them looking a little bit different and you can layer those up and um, these these piles here they don't uh, conform to the terrain they're always going to be straight but like placing them down here sort of gives that sort of beach vibe effect so as long as they're all under the water that's not beach you know what i mean anyway all these little rocks under here um and then i've got them put on here with some other the bigger boulders underneath so they don't look like they're floating in the air and i think that looks okay and then you can also place those wherever there's any little dips so in my mind if the water's flowing past it wouldn't necessarily pick out all of those rocks that are there so this bit here i think would have a lot of that let's grab this item here there we go And then the other thing with all the bushes and things, there's a nice little option in the find it. There's a bush wild random, which gives us, let's have a look which ones it gives us. One, two, three, only gives us like, yeah, two or three different ones, but it's just enough that we can add some detail there. What about the bush city random? What does that look like? I mean, to be honest, if you dot it, dot in that one around as well. Just a little bit of colour here and there of some of the bushes and things growing through the rocks. I don't think that looks too bad at all. If we take what it sort of would have looked like before, blank like that. And now it sort of looks like this. And then you could even pop uh, a tree or two in here and it wouldn't look too out there. There we go. A little bit of detailing. I think that makes the world a difference. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend a bit of time and I'm just sort of going to go along and do... <laughs> it's looking quite big, isn't it? See, this is where things like this, where the Move It mod, with cutting and pacing and stuff would have been great. But at the minute, it's all individually placed items. So yeah, leave it with me. I'll be back with you in a minute. Well, that was an interesting uh, hour. So this is what we've got at this end. And as we sort of meander along, I've just basically done a similar thing all the way along here trying to sort of mix it up every now and again i think this sort of detailing really adds to a city build as well got like a load of rocks in the wall there and then we come out to the other end i'm liking it i'm liking it the only thing we can't do which i'm hoping we'll be able to do when a move it mod comes along is for instance if i grab that rock there is i'd like to have a pile of rocks here but it doesn't matter how many i place there we go there's my pile they're never going to go on top of each other they just sort of go into each other um even if i turn anarchy off yeah that will just remove rocks that are underneath but i'm liking the detail this is looking good well as we spread out we now want to work out what sort of housing and stuff we're going to build up here. Again, probably picking from some of the props. I'm thinking at some point we need a bridge across here. And I'm just looking if there's two pieces of land that are a similar height and quite close together. I'm thinking across here could be the spot. So let's maybe just pick a height across here and see which is going to work well for us. What I don't want to do is totally level all of these islands out. I want to sort of keep them at the random heights they are at and see what we can come up with. I'm thinking... Oh, wait, actually, look, that says 138 and 136. Okay, we're going to go there. I'm going to right-click and then left-click to level out a pad. And then we're going to roughly find where there's a 136 spot there. And I think that's where our bridge is going to go. And then we'll work with that. And we could take... We've got the two-lane two, um, two lane wooden covered bridge, which we could go for. We've got the truss bridge, which is just going to be too much. Yeah, so let's go with... 
that one there that is pretty straight let's have a look at that that looks to me like something that you would find on here excellent well there are a few other items i'd like to add and normally you'll find these dotted around the map so we've got a ruined old castle uh, we've got some ruined tombstones over here we've got a ruined cottage um, a few ruined cairns i believe that's pronounced and then we've got some ruined standing stones as well various versions of those now they don't show up in the uh, fine stuff mod but if you go to the home key add menu and put in ruins you'll find them all listed there now the ruined old mill actually looks to me like it needs to be placed in a spot where there's going to be water running under it if we look there we've got the mill wheel right in that little section there where the water would run through and power the mill i would guess to make flour or something like that so i'm just wondering whether we could just add in another little river along here and get that mill lined up let me just pop the water in okay so playing with the water is a little bit difficult and um, we've ended up digging this out down here just so we can place the water otherwise it sort of did, did weird things with sucking the water up to the top of here and all sorts so what i've done is i'm hoping this little trickle will stay here uh, i'm not sure whether it will or not we'll see but even if it doesn't this little depression in the land can sort of signify what perhaps used to be a little river where the mill was placed across uh, let's see if we can actually get this old mill to look like it's in a position where it would work i think that's about as good as any place that we're going to get it and then we can always add a few rocks and beautify it but yeah i'm liking that i'm liking that also i'd like to maybe use some of the little props that we've got here to see if we can sort of make this look like here we go tombstone is what i was looking for let's maybe type that in instead and there's quite a few of these individual old tombstones small tombstones double tombstones that we could maybe place around here to make this look like perhaps this is someone used to live here all the families sadly died off here on the top of the hill i think would be a good spot yeah so looking for the most basic tombstone it's basically one of those and i'm thinking maybe we'll have like a larger one and just sort of maybe that's the story of the the father one of the children somebody else that's died and this is all just gone into rack and ruin after many years and i feel like it needs a little bit of detailing around it as well let's see what we can come up with So a little trick if you're placing props that have various colors is we're going to delete these ones here let's just get rid of those carefully so we don't delete the building and every time you turn uh, press b for bulldoze it sort of rotates through the colors there we go so you can get the ones that you want excellent i was just going to put like a little white picket fence type garden out here maybe not completely finished as it's possibly fallen away <laughs> into there i don't know um there's also a let's have a look in here a short one as well so if we get the same color okay so we've got a little dog house over here little dog hoop it's called a seesaw table and chairs got a greenhouse out the back here just an odd random table and all their stuff that they've left here and i think that just sort of adds a little bit of a story to our old mill over here right so why don't we just move up into this area and see if we can start off a nice little simple commercial square maybe some houses built around over here as well and just see if we can start building up this island a little bit right let's lay out some basic roads and see how things look whether we're going to have to flatten things out a little bit or not i mean it is not too bad running through here so i'm thinking a sort of a square you know town square type vibe on this little section It's quite a bit of a bump in the middle, isn't it? So let's just flatten that out a tiny bit. Okay, that's not too bad. That's our little central square area. And then what I think we're going to do is if we dive into our zoning and look at our commercial, and then really I want to just find level one stuff. Unfortunately, if I do that, that just removes everything. If I do level one like that, it highlights level one, but it will still show everything um i definitely think we want a gas station in here i think this little three by three one work quite well we're going to pop that right up against the corner like so 
There we go. That'll be good. That'll be good. Then we want a few commercial buildings around this as well. So now if we remove this. Oh, come on. You can do it, game. There we go. And we scroll all the way down to EU commercial low. And then we can get all sorts of different size buildings. It would be nice if we didn't have all the zoning showing up to hide that. Maybe there's something I can do about that. There we go. That's a little bit better. Just adjusted it in the legacy flavor mod. That's the settings that I'm using. If you wish to have a look, that makes it look a lot better. What happens if we do actually zone in with a color? Oh, I see. Yep. That's fine. That's okay. Just wondered how it looked. Right. Okay. So let's get some EU uh, shops in here. So past the high, we'll get down to the low and just pick out a few of these. Oh, a hotel we could get at some point as well. And just pick out a few of these that I think would work really well. So there are various versions of each of these. So as you place them down, we we'll probably do the same thing, can we? If we do the. Yeah. So if we do the delete key and bring them back. They do change, but I think we're probably going to be sticking to using the ones that have got different sizes to get the difference in. So let's just pop some of these down. There we go. And just to help with lining these up where I want it, if we pop those in, that switches the zoning around. Excellent. And then we want a last one to go in here. There we go. What about something like that? Just a few little shops dotted around and obviously we've got to sort out the water problems that we've got here so i'm like, I am thinking whether we could just pop in a water tower it's a shame that they it looks so huge and there isn't like a smaller version of it um but maybe we could just make use of that a little bit further along in the town and just pop that in there yeah there we go and then we'll bring the power over from somewhere else there we go everybody's happy all the power and everything's being brought in from underground excellent so i'm just hello how are you doing <laughs> just wondering whether we could use some of the surfaces that we've got in here just to maybe adjust some of these a bit what is your problem what are you doing could you leave me alone thank you very much yeah just to adjust some of these in here and we could bring these out like this to make almost a little plaza area which I think will be good. I'm going to add one over here. Actually, what we could do is we could drag these ones out, couldn't we? And then turn this all into a big plaza. So if we sort of go up here. Not quite sure how far back over that way it will go, but we can work that out as we go along. Right, and as well as the little sort of shopping area here right at the crossroads, and I've picked out lots of little residential houses that I think will look good at various other spots about the place. So what I'm going to do is grab this road here. Uh, let's come up there. I think this last one will crash the game. There we go. We are back in the game. Excellent. So yeah, let's jump into my favorites. Here we go. We've got some of these small, low, level one uh, houses of various sorts. I was thinking that we could just sort of plop some of these around the place. Maybe sort of randomly pick a few different ones as we go along and see how they look. So just sort of a little bit like that. And then also at the end here, I have seen we've got motels and hotels. So let's jump into, I'm, I'm assuming motel. Oh, I assumed wrong. I was assuming because it was called motel that that was going to be an American thing. But actually, mm, what I want is a big, low, flat. Now, I know perhaps these are more maybe alongside highways and that sort of thing. But I'm just thinking something like that up on the cliff here, up on the hill, overlooking this area. Could be somewhere that you'd come and stay and enjoy a little bit of a holiday. Maybe something like that up there. And then the hotels, let's have a look at those. Yeah, this is the difference. These are all pretty tall buildings, which I'm going to try and stay away from uh, in this area. So that motel works really well. Right, let's plop some more houses down and we'll just see how this ends up looking. There we go. So once you've got your favourite things set up, it is dead easy just to sort of plop some of these in. And then I'll come back through and I'll sort of uh, flatten out the land. But yeah, I'm liking the way that these look. Just sort of cheap, small, low houses that might have sprung up in a community like this. Looking very good, very good. And then we've got some of the larger ones over here off the main road. 
with a little bit of space in between. Not quite sure what we'll put over here. Maybe some sort of park. As we're right opposite this motel, we could put some sort of recreational type things in here. What I would say is if we're going to put in one of the items I'm thinking of, we really need to flatten this land. So what I'm going to do is just grab that there and go up to that. We're going to snip that bit off at the end. Excellent. And then we can pop in here a tennis court. That doesn't look too odd then with it floating sliding off to one direction yeah and everyone's going to be losing the balls brilliant uh, and then maybe we could stick a park in here too we could go with this little small park like that and then we can always add some paths and things to decorate that they're going to start complaining about lack of educated workers and such because we don't have a school here yet man that house is well hanging off the edge of the cliff i'm sure we can fix that yep there we go much much better so what other items could we add in here well certainly in this main area we could have some service vehicles um i am again just going to flatten this piece of land out here excellent so just off the main highway we uh could have a fire station and i think that fits in really well that is just the sort of size building by the way that helicopter that keeps appearing it's a police helicopter so the police coverage will be fine over this way i'm sure uh we do need a medical clinic yeah and the medical clinic is where it starts to fall apart because the building is so large i'm not sure whether that's going to fit in there okay let's just give it a little bit of a terraform something like that I mean, that looks like a proper new modern building. So maybe that's how this uh, place was built. First of all, around the crossroads. Then we had a few small houses. Then we had the fire station. And then this was brought in as the most modern building on the land so far. Because I bet you're all thinking, what the heck is Biffa going to do with all of the school needs? Um, and that is something else I'm not entirely sure. We don't have sort of teeny tiny small buildings where we can add a school in and it fits in with the area so i am thinking about an underground road that can attach us maybe to this land over here and we're sort of going to assume that all of these people come in and out with boats oh is there any sort of boats or anything like that no that we can add in mm, canoe <laughs> anything a raft craft a craft no okay a raft no what right, that's still showing up no okay so we're gonna have to sort of use our imagination a little bit so yeah let me connect to something over there there we go we've got our elementary school and our high school over there can you spot where the road goes underground can you have a look around see if you can see it no maybe you can't it is all the way hidden at the back here behind some trees i could have put some more trees on there but i think that'll do just to hide the fact that there is a road that goes underground there we go all the way around just to give us some access to the schools and such so hopefully this lack of labor uh will stop being an issue so i think we need to place a few trees around here oh and doesn't that instantly make a difference to this area around here look at that that is really nice nice little homes privacy with all the trees that were around then you've got the motel at the end here a few little shops that you could come and visit and then i've left this little area here and i'm thinking what could we use this for yeah what i'd really like to get in here is like a ferris wheel right now i'm kidding as if i do that um, i'm thinking this small little plaza would be absolutely fine at the back there just another little park area that we can expand on helps give that sort of feel of a town square perhaps right there which i quite like um and i think what we'll do actually is we'll grab these roads like oh no let's try and do that with it being straight and bring these round the back there we go and bring that one into there excellent yeah that sort of just squares that off a bit which i think is nice yeah i'm liking it i'm liking it and then over this side well we haven't even got to this side yet i mean over here we do actually have this great big tourist attraction i would like to add which is where is the darn thing if i could find it here it is the medieval castle which i think would absolutely look great over here where's the road access is this side is this gonna bump up on a great big hill i think it is and i think we probably need to flatten this area out a bit like this 
that to me looks great let's plot that there let's take a look at this oh man oh man that is a fantastic looking building i'm liking the look of that a lot it's got a built-in park oh it's like a cemetery i didn't realize built-in cemetery with a sort of walk around you can have a look at and this is real. i mean imagine if we could get all these individual props in the games so we could build our own stuff that would just be fantastic so we'd need to attach this oh another auto save maybe get some parking mount here uh let me see if we can get oh some proper looking key walls around here it would just be fantastic can i add all oh, pedestrian streets yeah that's what it's going to be yes yeah, so we've got the sides in i've just put the land out a little bit so we can get this in here hopefully with no problem yeah let's just get rid of that little nubbin on the end and that one there excellent that's really good and then we can use our road upgrade tool mod and we can add key walls all the way along the back uh, all the way down there and this one has pretty much already got it hasn't it yeah excellent i just want to flat under this one out a bit there we go that is done it's looking good and then we can just sort of oh no has it done this one here yes it has yeah so then we just sort of need to very carefully mess with the zoning so if we sort of take a bit bigger than that nope not as big as that <laughs> take this height here and just sort of push it back and then we could even add a key wall to this piece here as well um no we're not going to do it all the way along so that just gives us that little section there i think that'll be fine that'll be fine and we can grab this and this can just come right in and turn into there that works perfectly doesn't it and then hopefully now you'll get your electricity yeah you'll get your water no because the bridge doesn't carry that okay let's connect from there to i'm assuming that's hooked in there nope hasn't hooked in at all oh there we go because of the river running through we needed to go down and up again that's hooked in nicely i've added a few more trees over here so let's enjoy a lovely time lapse of our build today Let me know below what you think of our new sleepy little community out here on the outskirts of our region and we need a name for it as well so get suggesting that in the comments and be here ready for the next one very soon take care everybody have a good day bye bye